welcome to fountain of wisdom i hope you all are doing good today i would like to share with you all proverbs 22:4 humility and the fear of the lord bring wealth honor and life two qualities and three rewards what are the two qualities humility and fear of the lord and what are the three rewards wealth honor and life so when you have humility and fear of the lord you have wealth honor and life god's word says it the bible says it so you need to have humility what is humility humility is means low that doesn't mean that uh, you have low self esteem or you think low about yourself no you think about others more than you that is the meaning of low here you think more about others rather than you i i i the i is gone and you 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 has come there that is humility it's out of pride and arrogance and always to acknowledge your faults and weakness many people don't want to acknowledge it they don't want to say about their weaknesses they don't want to say about what uh, mistakes they have done they don't want to acknowledge any of those things humility is acknowledging all your weaknesses but with that weaknesses god's strength is there to bring you out of all that you don't have to be low saying oh i am weak i i cannot do this i cannot do that no god's word says that he has anointed you he has blessed you and he will bring you out of every weaknesses so you don't have to have any low self esteem but you should be out of pride and arrogance that is the true humility biblical humility is out of pride and arrogance freedom from pride and arrogance is humility now we'll see the examples of humility in the bible the first example is moses god himself credits him and says that moses was a humble man there was nobody as humble as him on the whole face of the earth you can see this in leviticus 12 1 to 8 when you read this passages in that god has acknowledged moses to be the humble person very humble he was meek he did not retaliate he did not fight back he did not want to um, start a quarrel saying i am this i am that god called me no he was very humble he accepted himself he accepted all that what the people said and did not argue or quarrel with them that is humility out of pride and arrogance next apostle paul philippians 3:4 to 6 paul was very qualified much qualified he came from a very good tribe and then he had all the assets he can boast about all those things but he counted all that loss in order to gain christ christ was everything for paul rather than whatever he had achieved people are very very um, they are very happy regarding their uh, certificates their education they talk about it brag about it they want to put their qualification along next to their name and everywhere they want to say you know what i have studied what i have done this is pride this is arrogance but ham paul though he was much much qualified than any other person on the face of the earth and he was from a very well to do tribe and though he could boast about all those things and about his influence and about his family background he counted everything loss in order to gain christ i can also identify with paul by saying that even i count everything loss whatever was a benefit to me in this world in order to gain christ christ is everything for me and i love jesus christ he is everything for us we should always acknowledge god above all the other things the other things are secondary god is our source next david psalm 834 david says when i consider the work of your hands the heavens the moon the sun the stars all that you have placed it all comes out through your word you spoke and you brought them out what is man next to all this what you have done god you are such a great god so he is very very humble in acknowledging that he is nothing in compared to all that what god has given him we should always have that attitude and we should always acknowledge god in everything that we do we should not allow pride to come into our way next joseph Genesis 50:20 Joseph tells his brothers you all intended harm for me 
but god turned that harm turned that bad situation into good by making me a governor he was made a governor and he was able to take care of all the needs of the whole country whole country all the people the authority was given to him so he could keep the lives during the famine time so god used him to do that to accomplish his purpose through all that he went through bad things he went through but finally when he came up he became the governor so today i want to encourage you all brothers and sisters if any of you all are going through such tough situations now either the sickness or the illness or whatever it is right now the financial and your job maybe some of you all have lost your job whatever condition you all are just read the story of joseph and wait on the lord and the lord will lift you in his due time it is worth the waiting in the lord it is worth what else can you do during this pandemic you can't do anything else other than waiting and praying and relying on the lord but i want to encourage you all that god will sooner make a way for you all he is a way maker he is a miracle worker he will surely bring you all out of every tough situation you are going through whether it is sickness whether it is illness or whether it is a financial problem or whether it is a loss of a job you don't have to be in that circumstance for quite a long because our god is a mighty deliverer rejoice and give praise and thanks to the lord and don't think about your circumstances and become uh, very uh, disappointed and discouraged oh i am going through all those things no you have a mighty god his presence goes before you and he makes way for you and he will bring you out of the tough situation give thanks and praise to him next the fear of the lord now what is the fear of the lord it's not that destructive fear this is a holy fear a fear to live a holy life this fear of the lord is we believe in god we believe in god and uh, we want to do his commandments this fear is we should not do any evil we should keep up all the things what the lord wants us to do so that his purpose will be fulfilled in our life it's a part of our discipline and instruction that is the fear this fear is not destructive this fear will not make you all um um sad it will uh, this fear will not make you all in such a way that uh, you will be ruined or something of that sort or negative feelings no nothing of that sort this fear is to keep you all away from evil to do the things what commanded you all to do that is the fear to shun away from evil other words is shun away from evil and do good things which god commanded you all to do next wealth now we come to all the three rewards wealth honor and life wealth you all all know what is wealth tata birla when you give the example but they are not believers but when you come to wealth lot of properties houses buildings office number of cars and golds silvers and good clothing good food many people around you all and that is what is wealth is but a christian who has wealth god bestows wealth it says in bible he gives wealth only he can give wealth and only he can promote you those those who are wealthy have got the wealth from the lord because of their hard work we have to acknowledge lord and the wealth is not given for you to be selfish the wealth is not given for you to only enjoy for yourself no a christian is blessed so that he can be a blessing to others he can use his wealth to build others he can use his riches to build the kingdom of god to bring in many more uh, people into the lord and that is why the wealth is given not for you to neglect your near and dear ones those who need help if there are near and dear ones who are needy around you take care of them your wealth will help them to come out of their pitiable situation if anybody needs help help them so the wealth the christian has has to bless others that is the meaning of wealth here wealth is not to hold it up and keep it as a rich man who decided in the bible you know the story of the rich man and god says what is the use of holding all the wealth you are going to die this night so that should not happen to any of our christians our brothers and sisters you should be willing to share you should be willing to help you should be willing to go extra mile to help them 
even if you don't have you should be able to help them with your wealth and that is the christian life and christian faith many people don't want to do that extra mile they don't want to go they only want to go the mile that god has called them go an extra mile and help people during this pandemic there are so many people who are without food so try to help them give them food give them clothing give them finances whatever you can sacrifice a little and give it to them that is christian life so your health your wealth whatever god has given you has been a blessing to others hona there are special recognition treat with admiration treating with dignity respect god honors his people when god called abraham out of the country only three people he sarah and lot when they came out they didn't have anything but later on when you see in the story he had gold he had silver he had riches he had cattle what not he was blessed with and through his blessing even we are blessed god blessed him richly by giving him descendants by giving him riches everything was bestowed upon abraham he was a man of faith he was a man who was called friend of god so god honored him in every possible way god honored him and blessed him next joseph he was made the governor from a small young boy who had no nothing within him he was in prison and from prison god lifted him and made him the governor so god bestows honor he uses ordinary people to make them somebody esther was nobody she was an ordinary lady she became a queen so god bestows god honors his people in his time he honors his people and then jo- jacob when jacob flee from home after um, uh, he wanted not to um, f- fall into the wrath of isaac he fled uh, he fled from home he ran away but then when he came back to see isaac after many many years he was blessed he had lot of cattle going before him he had so many people his wives his children 17 all were there with him and god blessed him richly with all those things when he went he went empty but when he came he came full next david he was made king he was an ordinary shepherd boy but god blessed him and made him a king so god honors god honors and this is the way he honors in the new testament when you see how god honors people god honored the centurion by praising him and saying i have not found such great faith then jesus honored his 12 disciples by giving them authority over evil spirits He then honored a Canaanite woman by praising and saying you have great faith. He honored Jacais by saying that I I need to come to your house. Jesus went to Jacais house by honoring him. He honored him by going to his house. So this is the way he honored people. Um God honors people in the New Testament as well as in the Old Testament. And even now God honors. Each one of you all have plenty of miracles to say how God honored you all during the times. You have all of you all have mighty testimony to say how God honored you all. Next the last one is life. Out of the three rewards we came to the third one life. Life has its meaning only when you know the true living God. People say we know God, but unless you know your creator, your life is not fulfilled. the purpose and the meaning of your life is only fulfilled when you know your creator when you know your god when you know what god has purposes for you what to see your life what you need to do how you need to relate with others everything god teaches because his character is revealed in bible and when you know god god's character comes inside you and you're able to love one another you're able to bless one another you're able to encourage each other you're able to stand with them all the qualities of god comes inside you and life becomes more meaningful and purposeful so you need to know your creator to know the meaning of life and to do the purposes god has laid aside for you so this is what i wanted to share with you all today and i hope you have understood it and you are going to hear the message once again so that you will understand what humility is and what are the three rewards because of humility and the fear of the lord